Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to European Universalis 4. So, first thing I should say is I just noticed that I only have two diplomats again. Um, I wonder if some bug got fixed, but uh, on the previous episode I had three, or not the previous, but I mem remember mentioning at least one or two episodes ago that I had three diplomats, which was, you know, very strange. We are, um, there's a random cannon here. I wonder if I'm building up an army somewhere. I am. Um, I am building up an army. Yeah, so anyway... Uh, on the last episode, we got, um, we finally ended our war with England. It cost us a little bit, and uh, we ha actually lost one of our colonies out here that were, work, you know, being constructed. Uh, fortunately for us, uh, it did, well, didn't, wasn't too costly for us for that to happen. Um, I'm constructing a new fleet to, and new uh, troops to take out there, basically. What do we got here? That's a transport boat. Okay, cool. So, let's say... Uh, why can't I merge the selected units? Is there a reason why I can't merge the selected units? I don't... I don't get it. I wanna... I wanna... Merge these units. Oh, it's one unit. No wonder I can't... <laughs> I'm dumb. Um, Alright, so I'm going to have you, I believe, get me trade power in Venice. As we slowly rebuild our fleet that got owned um, last time. Yeah, I'm going to get trade power in Venice. Um, and we're going to get a military candidate, I think. That's fine. Beautiful. And then we should be getting a new army forming up here. And we're going to build up some transport ships so let's do that transport ships flutes um one two three four five six one two three four five six seven eight and we have one here so we'll, we'll just do nine for now get those nine transport ships built and then uh Oh, there's a caravel being built. Rome was apparently taking its sweet time building a caravel. So yeah, we're getting a decent amount of trade in Genoa and Venice. Um, probably because Venice has lost a whole bunch of its own trade power. Uh, from um, these sieges going on here in this blockade. that They basically are screwed. That's what I'm trying to say in fancy English. Calvary's going to take its sweet time getting here. So yeah, we'll, we'll be sending a new army out to replace the army we lost in... Uh, to replace the army we lost out, out there in the colonies. And then, um, I mean, the big problem, or the big thing that we're going to try to overcome is our uh man my english right now is just totally just i just totally lost it oh yeah i want to try to maybe go to war with uh, somebody like uh tunis over here i have nobody to send to declare war on tunis uh you would never want to become my ally last i checked yes yeah, so i'm gonna stop improving relations So if I declared war on Tunis, their ally, the Ottomans, would almost certainly come in on the war. Oh, yes, they would. Um, and France would come in on my side, and it would be a real interesting question to see what would happen uh, with the Ottomans here. The Ottomans are at war with the Byzantines. Uh, apparently, the Byzantines still exist on this island. So bye-bye, uh, Byzantines. It was fun while you guys lasted, but you are no more, it appears. I keep thinking I have to merge those armies. I keep forgetting that they're automatically going to be merged. It's so dumb of me. Alright, what kind of missions we got here? Protect against the Ottomans. I need to have 88 force limit. That's not happening anytime soon. Um... So yeah, we're just gonna... We're, we're gonna just build up and be ready to go here. Get all the transport boats to to uh, Siena. 
please. Okay, cool. So we find. Oh, and Spain has just rivaled me. Of course they have. Of course they have. So this is a nine transport ships. I'd actually like to have a few more transport ships in the future. Um, so that I can. I can uh, move bigger armies at once. So that's, that's something I'm going to be looking forward to doing here in a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to probably go to war with France. Now, the other thing I want to do... Well, apparently the Netherlands have declared independence. Um, do I have claims? I do have a claim on... On... Uh, Messina. So if France goes to war with Spain, out of curiosity, what would happen if we did this? Uh, France would come in on the war on our side. Hungary would not... Uh, Venice and Portugal would come in as well as the span all the Spanish bitches <laughs> colonial pop nations that's also known as bitches I'm going to build some more transport ships probably another um, Hungary has asked that we come into their war against uh, Poland and Moldova this is a defensive war um, I'm just going to take the prestige hit. I don't want to get in on this war. It's too bad that I have no prestige, and I'm sorry that we're no longer allies, but I, I just can't ally you. Wow, Lorraine is actually pretty good. Um, let's see if we can get Lorraine to be our best friends. I wouldn't mind Lorraine being my new best friends. Hello, Diplo points. And they would uh, ally us now. So let's get this alliance with Lorraine. Beautiful. We now have entered a military alliance with Lorraine. What is their military right now? Oh, they're at war with a whole bunch of people. Who are you all at war with? Netherlands, Lorraine, and Switzerland. Oh, you're fucked. That may have been a mistake by me. Diplomacy. Improve relations with Bohemia. Maybe I can get Bohemia to uh, al ally with me as well. Yeah, I think we can probably get uh, them to be our, our bestest friends. Did I build those boats, by the way? Did I start building those boats? I don't think I did. Alright, um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so that will give us a grand total of like 19 boats, which would actually be enough to ferry over reasonably sized armies to uh, locations. Where the hell did I wanted to actually go to that? I figured it was these guys, but um, I want that Republican tradition so I can keep a candidate around and start building him up. How old is our current guy? Um, our current dude is 35. Oh, yeah, we're going to keep him. I hope he doesn't die. Um, penal colony in Pamlico. Our colony in Pamlico has not been progressing as quickly as we'd like. One of our advisors actually plans to speed it up. We make it a penal colony. So local unrest goes up plus three for 25 years. Or I just lose 10 admin points. I don't, I don't. Not worth it. Just lose the admin points. Uh, and we just got the trade dispute CB against the... Uh, wow, these all suck. But I guess I'm going to take this guy. It's going to cost me 10 gold monthly, which is barely keeping me afloat. Instead, I'll just lower my army maintenance. Um, do I want to upgrade? Yes, let's upgrade this. It shouldn't cost us a ton. Um... And I'll probably want to upgrade uh, the textile manufactory some point in the near future. Oh, I forgot that lowering your um, maintenance has a negative effect on um, rebel suppression. Interesting. But we need our new boats. God, I can't believe these were so close to being done, and then we got screwed by the game. Screwed by the game. 
Ottomans. They must have eliminated them, and they did. Okay, cool. Damn, if only Tunis wasn't allied with the Ottomans. That's basically what we're hoping we were hoping for. And we missed our opportunity to steal their colonies when um when they all they had all those rebellions because because of uh because of our other wars. You should be able to come join up. Didn't I build 10 ships? I did. Rome is once again taking its sweet ass time building something. Oh, because their autonomy is way up. And apparently Rome became reformed. It's Rome. Pretty sure that should not happen. Pretty sure there should be a checkbox here that says Rome. That's a, a little bit ridiculous that, that Rome actually uh, reformed. Alright, so if we decrease autonomy, we'll get increase in local unrest. We're currently at minus three and a quarter. Uh, so that doesn't help us too much. I can't believe that. It's Rome. <laughs> blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. Um, should we get um, the finest horses? What's the ETA on the next thing? 594? No, we're upgrading to um, the next military tech. That's what we're doing, and I think we will maybe just go to war against uh, against the Ottomans and see what happens. And that's, I think, what we're going to do. Let's get, uh, how many men do they have? 88,000? We only have... About 60,000 here in uh, the good old US of A. Oh, we're apparently way over our force limit because of uh, our old advisor that just died was probably giving us a force limit mod of uh, boost that I was unaware of. So that's a thing. Anything I want to build while I got the opportunity? I want the, I want the arsenal, but don't have the tech for it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Mm, doesn't look like it's worth it. And... Okay. Um, temples. Everybody's got temples. Oh, I forgot about out here. I can actually build these things out here. Um, yeah, we'll build a temple in each of these. And we'll build... Um, one in each of these. Not necessarily worth it, but whatever. And should I get the textile manufactory? Um, sure. We got plenty of, uh... Wait, how much does it cost? That's what I want to know. 46? Yeah, we got plenty of admin points. Let's do it. Now we can build textile manufactory. Um... I don't think we have enough money to build textile manufactory, but we could build one. Textile manufactory. It'd be nice if I could just click on it to see where it would benefit me. Alright, let's raise up our... Uh, our army maintenance here. It's actually going to cost us to lose a little bit of, of money. So, this one advisor here is costing us a goddamn pretty penny. Anyway, I think it's time to go to war, is what I'm thinking. I'd really like to strike against the Tunisians. The Ottomans are going to cause us no amount of headache here. No shortage of headache. Um, what about you? You are, uh, 12? Military Tech 12? Oh, I lost my claim on, uh, Bizarret? 
Oh shit, I'm gonna lose my this claim too. Can I just uh, re covert actions, fabricate another claim? Oh yeah, I wanted to uh, stop improving relations here. Re ally these guys. Oh, we don't have a good opinion of them. So we can either support the clergy or support the philosopher. Um, I'll take the missionary strength. I'm just sad that we don't have... We lost stability out of the deal. I don't have any uh, admin points to boost my stability. Okay, I had just enough admin points to boost my stability. So yeah, I want to fabricate a claim... Here. That's what I want to do. Uh, dynastic actions. No, nope, not that. Don't care about the internal conflicts. Covert actions. Fabricate claim. Um, Bizerti. Yeah, we're gonna take some land from these guys, I think, and that should be fine. And I do think actually we'll be able to fight the Ottomans, even though they just upgraded to military tech 13. We are military tech 15. We're about to go to military tech 16, which is gonna give us a, a, a big advance in artillery f a capability. Um, as well as our combat with and it gives us the ars the ability to actually build the arsenal, which is interesting And we I think we just hit it right now. Yeah, let's do it So we're going to upgrade our troops Cool, I do think that we'll be able to win engagements against the Ottomans What I do need to do though is have my fleets Go home at war because of the proximity of the Ottoman forces. But yeah, this is going to be an interesting little war we're about to fight. Here in a second. Don't like the Ottoman Navy just being there. Did you declare war on somebody? Oh yeah, you're at war with Genoa and Crimea. That's actually really good for me right now. So if we could just get this claim fabricated a little faster... Why am I fabricating the claim? Because we probably wouldn't be able to finish the war fast enough to get this other claim taken care of. So that's why we're fabricating the claim. No, I'm not giving you military access. Go away. What's our ETA to having our colonies done, by the way? They already got about double the size. Are you just dying over here? or what? What's going on with this army? What are you doing with that army? France still loves us. That makes me really happy. Trade efficiency or gain three inflation. Uh, God damn it. Well, bye bye trade efficiency. Bye bye money. It was nice while I had you. I know I need more boats. And that's what I'd like to build next after this war that I'm not fighting. The war that isn't quite happening yet. I do think though I can lower you for like two or three months and then I should be able to raise it back up real quick here because we're only at 50% it should take another six months before we get this get this thing going here so when it gets to about 70 or 75% we'll raise it back up nothing like getting some money out of the deal while we're waiting uh, we can also build uh, arsenals now, which gives me plus two force limits, which is really good, I would say. And we just don't have anybody that has the prereq building, so I'd have to build uh, the re regimental ca camps first, uh, which we'll do here in the in the near future. All right, um, not quite there yet. Keep keep ticking up. Get up there to seventy uh, percent. Beautiful. All right, let's raise up the army maintenance again, get our armies ready to go. Um, you attach to the transport and come down over to Sardinia so that we're right ready to go launch this assault. Venice is currently in a major war against Spain. Wow, interesting. Spain's in a multi-part war. He, they're actually in the war against the Ottomans and Tunisia. Which means going to war against Tunisia here is going to be a great idea. It's like strike while the iron's hot, so to speak. But uh, this is where we're going to end the episode. So on the next episode, we are going to uh, launch our assault. 
that all being said, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.